What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lineman Football and in today's video I'm going to be looking at the best lineman helmet. Now to start off, this video is going to be kind of broad because there seriously, this is the most factors that can go into any of these best lineman series. Gloves is simple, cleats is a little middle ground, but helmets man, there's so many different things that go into helmets. Now, outside of the categories I'm talking about here, a couple other ones that you'll have to make sure and look into before you go and buy a helmet is A, does it match your team colors? Does it match the rest of your team? Say that you're repped by Rydell or Riddell, however you call it, as I get a lot of flack over that. I really don't care. Um, so there's a ton of options you have to look into first, and especially ask your teammates about what they think about it because they might have a little more information than you. Okay, so now that we're talking about the best lineman helmet, I'm going with the latest and greatest helmets from, I'm going to keep it narrowed at three different companies. I'm going to go with the Riddell Speedflex Shut Vengeance Z10 and the Zenith Epic. The reason I'm not going with the um, Zenith X2, Riddell Speed, Shut Vengeance, the original pro model, the or the Shut Ion 4D, anything like that, is because I'm going with the latest and greatest and the best. Some of those other models are still great. In fact, if you don't have the money to afford these, the other models are very comparable in some ways, so you can just go one model down to where it fits your price range. But I'm talking about the best and brightest right now. Okay, the first category I'm going to look at is comfort. Now, someone will disagree with me, as someone always does, but I'm going with the Speed Flex on this one. The reason why is because I find the liner super comfortable inside. Five different inflation points on it, two on the side, three top the crown. The Zenith Epic is these little cups around your head. I've worn them before. I don't find it comfortable and your head looks hilarious after, so I just don't enjoy it. And with the shut, I don't like the uh, the blue, oh, what's it called? Whatever, I don't like the material inside. I don't find it comfortable. So that's why I'm going with the Speed Flex. All right, now let's look at all three prices. The Zenith is priced at $349.99. The Shut Vengeance is priced at $499.99, 500 bucks. And the Speed Flex is priced at $399.99, 400 bucks. So it's pretty easy to see that Zenith is the best option as far as affordability for the three, but you'll see in a little bit why the extra 50 bucks is worth it. Okay, now let's look at safety. So the issue with the safety category is I'm going off the Virginia Tech study as I've done tons of times before. The issue with the study though is they only rank it out of five stars and tons of helmets rank in the five star range. In fact, all three of these rank as a five star. I think they should do this again and maybe up to 10 or 15 stars because there's three different models of vengeances included in this. The Speed, the original Speed has a five, the Speed Flex has a five, the Zenith X2 has a five. There's tons of fives. So it just, it doesn't give a comparable. So this isn't really my category. They all have fives, so they'll all be perfectly safe. Okay, now let's look at how it is to take apart and clean and use and that kind of stuff. For this, I'm gonna be going with the Speed Flex for a couple reasons. One, you can rip out the liner, it's kind of a pain, but you can rip out the liner, clean the liner, really easy to clean that. The other reason are the quick release clips, two on each side. The Zenith and the Shut both still use basic screws, four screws, so I find that the quick releases are a lot quicker, more efficient, that's why this category is going to the Speed Flex. All right, the second last category is face mask options. Again, this one is going to the Speed Flex for a couple main reasons. When you're looking at the Zenith and the other ones, first off, I don't like the face mask options on the Zenith. I think they try to reinvent it and it looks kind of weird. Everything's a little too curved with the rigid shell. I just don't like it and it doesn't, I don't find it looks good with visors. It's really hard to attach visors, so I just, I don't like it. Um, with, the, uh, with the shut, I just don't like some of their face mask styles. I think they look kind of big and bulky. I'm just not a fan. And also, so I'm going with the Speed Flex because there's tons of room for improvement with some of the styles right now, but there's already some really sick styles they have out there. So definitely go check those out. You're gonna buy a face mask, obviously Green Gridiron, my go-to guys. Also, all the face mask options at Speed Flex, non-negotiable are stainless steel. That means they're lighter, stronger. Some of the other ones from other companies, you can still be looking at carbon steel like Red Riddell, used to use so for every single aspect of face masks i think sh the um, right l speed flex is the best now let's just look at overall appearance so three three on the screen right now which one do you think looks best if you're saying anything but the speed flex you're crazy i think the speed flex is a lot better than all three others i think mainly because the low attachment point at the bottom really helps the look the bottom clip attachment that Rydell's been doing for a little bit now, starting with the speed, I think it looks really good. It's showing that the new age of football. So the obvious choice for the best lineman helmet is gonna be the Rydell Speed Flex. 
So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Again, if you have any other ideas for best Lyman series, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to contact me, easiest ways could be at Lyman Football on Instagram. Now, if you like these shirts and you want to see how the back look because it looks ridiculously different, don't forget to check the link, the first link in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And as always, thanks.